Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about communication site and we learned how to create a communication site. In this particular video, we are going to talk about document libraries. We will understand what is a document library in SharePoint Online, what is the use of document libraries and how to create a document library. Before we start working with document libraries, it is important to understand that what exactly a document library is and what is the use of document libraries. If we talk about the traditional ways to store information, we used to store it in our computer hard drives or we store information in a network drive or on a server. Now, if you have to share these documents with someone, you will attach the document with email and send it. And if you want to share the same document with five different users, this will create five different copies of one document. Or let's say you want five users to work on the same document. So if we go by the traditional way, we will end up with five copies of one document. And we will have to collate everything from the five documents to create the final report. So the problem with this traditional way is this way the documents are very difficult to manage. But if we talk about the document libraries, this is a secure space where we can store our documents. We can work on these documents with other team members. We can share these documents with other users and we can access these documents from anywhere and from any device. So in nutshell, a document library is a secure storage place where we can upload our documents. We can collaborate on a document. Multiple users who have access to the document can work on the same document. We can share the document with others and we can track the changes done on the documents. When you create a SharePoint site, be it a team site or a communication site, you get a document library with name documents. This document library is created by default, but you can create multiple document libraries in a site. For example, let's assume you want to create different document library where you want to store only images or you want to create a dedicated library for reports. Within a document library, you can upload any type of documents, be it Word document, Excel, images, videos, PDF files, almost any type of documents you can store here. But there are some exceptions as well. For example, if your administrator has blocked certain type of files, for example, exe files, so you will not be able to upload exe files within the document library. To create a document library, you will go to the home page of the SharePoint site and on the home page, you will click new and then click document library. Now there are multiple ways to create a document library. You can create a document library from scratch, which is blank library. You can clone a document library. For example, you have another document library on a site and you want to copy the formatting or the columns of that document library. So you will select from existing library. On the left, you will see all the SharePoint sites in your tenant. Select this site and here you will see all the document libraries of that particular site. For example, I want to clone this particular document library to my site. So you will select the document library and click next. But remember, this will not copy the documents from another document library. This will only copy the columns, views and formatting of the document library. So let's go back. And the third way to create a document library is to use templates. For example, we can see a couple of pre-built templates here that we can use to create a document library. But for this particular demo, let's create a blank document library and let's click blank library. Now under name, you will give a name for the document library. For example, reports library. Under description, you can add a description for this library, but this is optional. You can type like this document library will store reports. 
and we will leave this option checked that says show in site navigation the site navigation is the quick launch on the left of your sharepoint site where you see all these menus to navigate to this site so if you uncheck this option then this library will not reflect under this menu list but if you want you can uncheck this option and later you can change this setting to show the library within the menu bar so i'll leave it checked and click create so the document library is ready with name reports library and one more thing when you give a space in document library name this will also create a space within the url of this document library for example if we look at the url of this document library it says reports percent 20 library so the space is replaced with percent 20. let's create another library and i'll show you this practically let's go to home page and click new document library blank library and this time let's create with name doc library but we are not going to give space and i'll leave this option checked and let's create so the document library is ready with name doc library and if we look at the url it says doc library there is no person 20 because there is no space within this document library name there is nothing wrong if you give a space or not the only difference will be in the url of the document library the space will be replaced with person 20. so good to know so now we have three document libraries first is the default one and then we have two libraries those are custom that we just created and if you want to rename the name of the document library select it and click settings on the right and click library settings and from here you can rename the name of the document library and click save now when you will rename the name of the document library this will not change the url of the document library you can see we have a space here but the url doesn't has person 20 to replace this space so this is just a good practice to maintain a clean url for your sharepoint site and the document library so that is all for today if you learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video